Hello everyone, how you doing? Um, just wanted to go over one step equations. And so when you solve a single step equation, you're just looking to use inverse operations at all times. If it says plus 14, you subtract 14 on both sides, just like the example right here. And then you would say, all right, so you're minus 14 on both sides. This cancels with the four, the 14s cancel. And X comes down, equal sign comes down. You subtract 14 from 21, you get 7. It is solved for X. In this example right here, you have Y minus 5 equals 9. You, you see a minus 5. You add 5. Opposite inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So now that cancels, and the Y comes down. The equal sign comes straight down. 9 plus 5 is 14. Remember, what you do on one side of the equation, you must do on the other side of the equation. Even if the equation looks like this, and it's kind of like backwards, just leave it that way. Don't, do not rewrite it. You have H plus. This is a negative 4. If you're reading it, it's negative 13 equals negative 4 plus H. Doesn't matter start with the side that the variable is on so you have a negative 4 you add 4 on both sides they cancel and then you have negative 13 plus 4 you bring up your calculator negative 13 plus 4 you the negative button is down here negative 13 plus 4 is negative 9 so negative 9 would be your answer and that is how you do it so for the practice, and you should really try um, to do one, two, and three, and then we'll come back with the answers. Go ahead, do one, two, and three on your own. Press pause now. So number one, hopefully you had a chance to do all three. You have x minus 3 equals 19. Since this is a minus 3, the opposite inverse operation is plus 3. So that's what you do on both sides. The negative 3 and the positive 3 cancel out. x equals 22. On this, on number 2, you have 8 plus x equals 10. You subtract the 8 from each side and that's because you have a positive 8 here. You're using inverse operations. And you're always working on the side where the variable is first because you want that variable to be alone. So you have minus 8, minus 8, the 8, positive 8, and negative 8 cancel. The x comes straight down. The equal sign comes down. 10 minus 8 is 2. That's your final answer y minus 5 equals 43. You add 5 on both sides, you get y equals 48. Remember, when you see subtraction like this, you're using addition because, again, that's the inverse of subtraction is addition. You always do whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. So you finished 1, 2, and 3. Now try to give 4, 5, and 6. Give those a try and press pause now. Okay, number four is 29 equals K minus 10. You add 10 on both sides. Again, using inverse operations, you add 10 to the 29 and you get K equals 39. P plus six equals 36. You see a positive six, so that means you subtract using inverse operations. You minus six on both sides. This positive 6 and negative 6 cancel out. P equals 30 because 36 minus 6 is 30. You have negative 5 plus X equals 20. You add 5 on both sides because this is a negative 5. A little bit of a tricky question. Um, the negative 5 and positive 5 cancel out. You get X equals 25. Go ahead. Press pause and try number seven, eight, and nine. Press pause now. 
So number seven is h minus four equals 18. You add four to both sides of that equation because you see a minus four on that left side. So the negative four and the positive four cancel out and you get h equals 22. Negative seven plus x equals 68. The variable is over here with the negative seven. You add seven on both sides because this is a negative seven the inverse of minus is pos is is addition and you they will cancel out negative seven and positive seven cancel and 63 plus 7 is 70 x equals 70. for number nine i left it you know why i left it because it's solved already there's nothing left to do um z equals 54 is your answer so turning over onto the other side, we're going to talk about one-step equations with multiplication and division. So for the first, the first part of it, it says 5y equals 30. And this is the first example. And this operation right here, 5y, is multiplication. So the opposite, oh, you always take the opposite and you always try to get the variable alone. So we have multiplication. So the opposite of multiplication is division. You divide by whatever number is next to the y. And they cancel out. Whatever you do on the left side, you have to do on the right side. So you're dividing by 5. 30 divided by 5 is y equals 6. And you are finished. The 5s cancel on this side. The y comes down and when you divide those two numbers you get six what happens right here this example right here a lot of people get confused so we have x divided by four this is division so when you see division the opposite of division is multiplication so i'm going to put a four up here and multiply by four here remember opposite of division is multiplication and what you're doing is that this is really like a 1 over 4 here so you're multiplying by its reciprocal you're flipping that fraction and making it 4 over 1 you really don't have to show the 1 because it doesn't change the answer but and over here it's not going to change the answer either so I'm going to put ones underneath and you can see what happens when you multiply by reciprocal it they cross cancel and when they cross cancel the X comes see how the X is alone here so that means this is the X is alone and the equal sign comes straight down and 12 times 4 is 48 1 times 1 is 1 you really don't need to do it and the answer is 48 always multiply a fraction by its reciprocal and you will be fine and this is just like the first one that we did 8k that's attached by multiplication so the opposite of multiplication is division so we're going to divide by the number next to the variable which is 8 you divide by the 8 on both sides and in this case it comes out to k equals 2.5 go ahead and take the first three problems and try them on your own. Remember, press pause and try the problems now. So I did the first two, um, 12s equals 60. You divide by 12 on both sides, you get s equals five. Remember, you're doing the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. That's why you're dividing and you're taking, you're dividing by the number that is next. It's called the coefficient, the number next to the variable to isolate that variable, to get it alone. And S equals 5. You're doing the same thing here. 7Y equals 42. You divide by 7 on both sides, you get Y equals 6. So the reason why I stopped at this one is because again here's a fraction fractions a lot of people get confused they stop they don't know what to do remember fractions are division so what you're gonna do is put a little dot here 
because opposite of division is multiplication. So you, it's like a multiplication symbol. So you're multiplying by 9. And remember, it's really like a 1 over 9. So you're going to multiply by its reciprocal. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Right? And I'm going to put a 1 underneath here just to make myself feel better. So I have 9 canceling with 9. Cross canceling. Look how nice that is. And then this 1 cancels, cross cancels with that 1. X comes down. Now I'm going to bring up my calculator and multiply 72, <laughs> 72 times 9. And that's 648. That is my answer. Um, the denominators are 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. So you wouldn't put that oh, you know, underneath 648. It doesn't matter. 648 is the answer and you're finished. Go ahead. See if you could do number 4 and 5 on your own. And then we'll come back and review. Press pause and try the problems now. So I finished number four. Remember negative 5j equals 30. The number next to the variable is attached by multiplication. That coefficient is attached by the operation of multiplication. So we are going to undo multiplication by dividing by that same exact number. So you're dividing by that negative 5. The negative 5's cancel. You do the same thing on the right side. You get 30 divided by negative 5. You get negative 6. J is the only thing on that left side. The equal sign comes down and then negative 6 comes down. J equals negative 6 is your answer. For number 5, remember you have a fraction and fractions are division. So you're going to multiply by the reciprocal. And really, this is like 1 here. And again, you really don't have to show it. But I'm going to multiply by 20 over 1. And I'm going to do that on both sides. 20 cancels, uh, cross cancels with 20. And 1 can cross cancels with 1. So you have n equals 20. Because 1 times 20 is 20, and 1 times 1 is 1. That is your final answer. For number 6, what would you do to get the n on its own, to isolate that variable? So remember, a fraction is division. The opposite of division is multiplication. What would you multiply on both sides to get that n alone? Yes. You multiply a 5 on both sides. And really, it's 5 over 1 because this is 1 over 5. The reciprocal of 1 over 5 is 5 over 1. So I'm going to put that over here, and I'm just going to put a 1 underneath the 15. Don't have to put the 1s underneath. I'm just doing it to show you that we're multiplying by the reciprocal. The 1s can't cross cancel, the 5s cross cancel, and guess what you have left over? Just the n. And that's what you wanted. Just to make sure, I'm going to use my calculator. And I'm going to clear it out. And I'm going to do 5 times 15. That is 75. And that is my final answer. Always use the calculator if you're unsure about anything. Go ahead, give number 7 and 8 a try. You can press pause and try those problems now. All right, so we have 20, we have 100 equals 25u, and we are going to divide that. 25u by 25, the number next to the variable. And the reason why we're doing that is because that is attached by multiplication. The inverse of multiplication is division. So no matter what you do when you're approaching any question, 
as far as solving equations, you're using inverse operations. So we're dividing by 25 on both sides. The 25 cancels with the 25, and you get u equals 4. 100 divided by 25 is 4. Number 8 says negative 36 equals negative 6p. Do not worry about the negatives. We are still following the same rules. What do we have? We have what operation? We have multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. We are going to divide by the number, the coefficient, that is next to the variable. And that coefficient is negative 6. So negative 6 divided by negative 6, that's on the the right side and then you do the same thing on that left side so negative 36 divided by negative 6 is 6 so 6 comes down the equal sign comes down the negative 6 divide um, cancels out the other negative 6 um, and P is what you get for that right hand side P equals 6 so number 9 just left it take a look at what number 9 and again your eyes are over here because you have the variable over on the right hand side. If the variable is on the right hand side, you know that you have to have t equals something at the end. This is division. What is the opposite of division? Multiplication. So what do you multiply on both sides to get the variable on its own? By itself, you multiply by the reciprocal of 1 over 13 which is 13 over 1 and I am going to do the same thing on the other side multiply by 13 over 1 I'm not putting the ones because we do not need them so when I look at it I'm gonna say all right these cross cancel and T comes down equals what is 13 times negative 10 just to make sure you know how to use the calculator that is the wrong calculator 13 times negative the negative is right there on the bottom right hand side in red of the calculator times 10 so you have 13 times negative 10 you press enter you get negative 130 And that is your answer. And that is the end of the worksheet.